Hi everyone, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this. So as you see, we have like a slideshow. And whenever you click the arrows back and forth, you can see how only the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 are highlighted and with some of, of the elements here. So I was a bit inspired and I was thinking, what can I do with with the built-in widgets in Muse. So this is what I created, okay? Because I've used just a slideshow. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to replicate this. It's pretty easy. So first thing you have to do is get your assets right. So I've downloaded this composition from FreePick. Uh, you can find the link in the description. So it's an Illustrator file. I've modified it so you can see. Uh, so I'm, go I'm going to go quick this part. Okay, so you can see how there's no background here and just the elements. What I did is so it keeps the same size. I've marked here. A, I have here a rectangle, sorry, a square, with which is completely transparent. It's just so it it has the same size as the rest of them. So what I did is I've highlighted, not really highlighted, but in the layers, I put up in the layers above what elements I wanted to show. And as you see, this is just an, uh, a, a, a square with a little bit of color and opacity. It's actually the same color as the background that we're using over here. Okay, so what I did is, number two, did this exactly the same thing. Just bring up the elements and just leave under it the other elements. And number four. So first one over here is when everything is not high, everything is like highlighted with its own color. Okay, so I've exported this in SVGs because this format works really, really good in Adobe Muse. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open a new site. First thing is the browser fill. I'm going to copy the color here because it is exactly the same as the color from my assets. And it there okay so now let's go to widget library and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in slideshows we're dragging blank okay so I'm going to center it a little bit I'm gonna resize this a little bit too so there's some elements here that I don't need, like for example this one, so just delete it. And this one here. I just want the arrows, but this is completely optional, okay? And I'm just going to bring this just a little bit like that. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this fill and the fill of the arrows too. Alright, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the options and go to add images. And I'm going to select these images here. See the assets, they're named in, in order so they will appear in order too. Just as long as you you don't click on shuffle or something like that. So, okay, we have this here now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add bigger arrows here using Font Awesome. So, I have my Font Awesome cheat sheet here prepared. So, I'm going to copy this arrow here that I've chosen before. And paste it.
if you don't know how to use font awesome here in muse then i will link also the tutorial so you understand how to use it and how to install it okay so now the other arrow is missing which is here okay so I'm going to open the options again you can change the transition speed I'm going to change it to um, auto play resume after yeah I'm just going to bring this a little bit faster and preview next I don't want the, ca the counter the little captions and show light box part yep okay so I think I'm done here this is really really simple as you see Let's preview it. Okay, so you can actually let this play. Right now I'm letting this play. Or you can click on the arrows and see how this works. So this is just to inspire you guys to do some other thing. I was actually inspired by Muse landing page and you can actually do a lot of stuff with this. It was a little trick that I learned not long ago. So I hope you guys like the tutorial and maybe if you like this video, I will show you in the next video how to prepare your assets for, for this kind of stuff. Okay, so thank you guys for watching.